everybody. Just wanted to say thanks for 300 subscribers. I really appreciate it. We're just headed home. I'm headed home from work. Um, getting ready to stop by the store and pick up some spark plugs because we're going to change them on the Bel Air. Um, we're going to do something big if we hit 500 subscribers. Maybe a big burnout or some, find a place to try some donuts or something. But uh, appreciate the subscribing, so now we're just going to cruise down the highway until we get to the store. And we'll pick this back up once we get to the shop. We made it out here to the shop. Got my wires and my spark plugs here. Hundred thousand miles, and uh, this motor had 130 or 150 thousand when I got it, and that was three years ago. So I don't know if they've ever been changed. I'm to go ahead and change it because my fuel mileage just went down a little bit, and we'll try to pick some of that back up, maybe.
got all the plugs in, new wires on, so now I'm going to fire it up and see if it'll start. It seems to be running okay. You might notice it's a little louder than the last time I had it on camera. That's because I got bored and I uh, I cut the mufflers off that were back here. And now it's just got some three inch pipes coming straight out the back. With the uh, it's got two and a half inch glass packs under there. But it sounds pretty good. It's a little loud. I had someone ask me on Instagram what the car looked like from the back because they were wondering about the fuel tank setup. And so from here you can't really tell unless you really get down low. And then you can kind of see it, but it's not noticeable hardly at all, no more so than the original metal tank. It hangs down a couple more inches. But that's about it for this video. I'll go ahead and give you a walk around the shop and see what we've been up to. We haven't done a whole lot on the Impala. Just a little piddly stuff like wiring and some uh, chrome. The back bumper's on it. That might have been on it last time. We've got the grill up there. It's not quite mounted yet. It's just kind of sitting there. Got the air filters for the turbos. So the engine is pretty much wrapped up. We've got to cut two pieces of pipe for our charge pipes down there and down there. But this thing's coming along pretty nice. We've got the headlights all wired up. Park lights are wired up. Next step, I think, will be mounting a battery, which it'll be mounted in uh, this little hole here because there's quite a bit of room in there. We'll just slide it underneath the fender. <clears throat> but didn't make a video on this car this week because we've just been busy. I had to work overtime, so I didn't have a lot of time in the shop. But uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate the 300 subscribers. I've noticed, uh, I was watch, looking at my analytics, and it said that 80% of people that watch the videos aren't subscribed, so if you like what you see, hit the button, and you might see something else you like. Uh, leave a comment down below what you'd like to see. Any questions about anything, uh, thanks for watching.